Alrighty, so there have been a few questions about properly setting up Kali to have two network adapters and the process is pretty straightforward. There is however no command that will turn on missing adapters. As we've said time and time again, you have to understand your environment and then address any problems in that environment. So let's take a look at that process. So here I have an instance of Kali set up and running, but when I check my network settings, I clearly have ETH0 working fine. It's my ETH1 that is not working. Regardless of whichever adapter isn't working, that's the one you have to address. And in Kali, you do this not with a command, but with something like, if this was Windows, this would be the lower right screen inside of Windows, what we call the system tray. It's in the upper right corner, that's the XFCE interface on Kali. It doesn't really matter where it is, but this is where all the system stuff is, including where you would power off, okay? One of the icons looks like a network port. When you hover on top of it, it actually talks about it. You can right click and edit those connections. Again, I used my alternate mouse button. In my case, it's the right mouse button. And with that, a pop-up menu shows and I can select edit connections. And when I do that, I see I only have one connection for two different adapters. So as far as Kali is concerned, which is running on top of Ubuntu, but as far as the operating, operating system is concerned, I've only got one adapter, even though when I take a look inside a virtual box, I have two adapters. At this point, only one is recognized inside of Ubuntu slash Kali. So I need to add a new connection click on the plus in the network connections lower right corner and then the defaults are fine you want to add a new ethernet that's fine all right they're going to call it something that's fine what i do recommend is you choose the adapter that isn't or the device i should say that isn't working okay eth0 is working eth1 is not so when it comes to adding a new connection, specify the adapter that is not working. You can verify that it's using DHCP, but then you can click on save. And right away, it should add it to the list. It doesn't matter what the old one was. On yours, it's probably gonna say wired for the first one. It doesn't matter, okay? What matters is you have two different connections. They're both being used so that now when you do IP adder again, both of our adapters are now working. You can close this and continue on with whatever you need to continue on.